is Janet. I'm a youth services librarian at the Wilmette Public Library. Welcome to We're Gonna Make It. Simple crafts for complicated times. It's February and everything is terrible. It's a time when we would normally be thinking about our friends and our loved ones, but we can't really be with them right now because of the pandemic. Also, it's freezing outside. We know it's a little bit safer to be with friends outdoors, but it's so cold, I don't even wanna be outside even if it means I get to see my friends. Ugh. Let's try to make February just a little bit less terrible. Let's make some colorful frozen art. Hang it outside your house or a friend's house to brighten the day. I'll show you how to make colorful ice art using common household items. You can make ice garlands with a foil muffin tin or an ice cube tray. If you have a specially shaped ice cube tray, that would be even more awesome. Fill the ice cube tray with water. Not too much water, just enough to fill each compartment. You don't want the water to flow from compartment to compartment because you are going to be adding food coloring and you want the food coloring to stay in its own compartment so the colors don't mix. So think about the colors that you want on your ice garland and what order you want them to be in. Don't add too much color, just probably about a drop in every compartment. You may need to mix it. I've got a spoon here. Here we go, I've got some, whoops, I've got some green and blue water. Now I'm going to cut a pretty long length of twine. And I'm gonna start thinking about where I'm gonna hang my ice garland. So now I'm gonna wind the twine into all of the compartments. I'm making sure the twine dips into all of the water um, so that every ice cube will be stuck on the twine and will be able to hang. I'll show you how it looks. Make sure you leave a length of twine on either end because you're gonna have to tie it to something. See, now we're ready to go outside. Find a place outside that's in the shade and a place where animals won't get at it. My dog tried to drink one of my garlands, yuck. If it's not quite freezing outside, you can always put your ice cube tray in the freezer. Take it out when it's a little bit colder outside. Or you can make two garlands. Put one ice cube tray in the freezer and leave one outside and see which one freezes first. I wonder how long it takes the water to freeze. Looks like it's all frozen. Let's see if the cubes come out. If you have trouble with this, you might have to take your ice cube tray inside and run the bottom of it under hot water. Great! All the cubes came out. The twine runs through them all so they can all hang together. Look, it's like a multicolored ice smile. How heartwarming! 
I'm going to hang this ice garland from the trees in my backyard. Think about how the ice might melt and the patterns the colors might make in the snow. Wow, it's starting to look like a party over here. A party with very few people, but at least it makes me happy. If you have friends or neighbors nearby, dash over to their house and hang a garland in their yard. Remember that ice is best transported in the cold. So don't try to drive it over. Your friend will know you're thinking of her and feel the love. Plus, everyone who walks by will feel cheered by the colorful display. I have been having so much fun with ice art that I made even more shapes. I found this fancy bunt pan and I made a colored ice wreath. I took this pie pan and put colored water in it along with some evergreen clippings. I put some twine in the water so I would be able to hang it later. It turned into a nice little object to hang from a tree. I also made some water balloons and added food coloring to them. I left them outside and the next day I cut off the balloons. It made ice orbs, crystal balls. You can use them to tell your fortune. So what will you do with your ice art? What shapes will you make? What will you add to your ice art? Where will you hang it? And who will you give it to? Just a word, whatever you do decide to add to your ice art, make sure it's not harmful to animals and nature. Also, try to remember where you hung it so you can come back and cut down the twine later. I am so excited to see your interpretations of ice art. Keep trying to have fun with the cold weather. Be creative and keep learning. Share your art with your friends and neighbors to show them that you care, even if you can't be with them. And that is how we're gonna make it. <laughs>